What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. It's another The Walt Day, Dennis DeWalt. Do you know who Dennis DeWalt was? Uh, Mr. DeWalt's uh, son? No, he had nothing to do with it. No. Here's just a roommate that I had back in the day, Dennis DeWalt. That's um, not the thing that you always would tell me about what happened in the middle of the night. No, <laughs> we're not talking about that. No, I'm just kidding. What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, oscillating tools, right? Kind of boring. Everybody's like, ah, we've had the oscillating tools. Not really, because I find myself using those all the time for so many different things. Whether it's just cutting, notching out a piece of wood, whether it's taking, notching out trim to, you know, for... No, there's I so completely many agree with you. I completely agree with you. There. I'm just saying boring, like, how many oscillating tools are on the scene? You know, we all, 32. in the early days, sat and watched the fine multi-master commercial a thousand times. I'm like, I'm getting that. We're like 20 years old, and then at the end, it's like five easy payments of $4.99. And you're like, whoa. Yeah. I'm not getting that. And Mr. Construction was cutting things, flush cut. He was just like, this is was, amazing. Speaking of infomercials, do you guys remember that pocket hose? Pocket hose. Yeah, that. That thing's back with the guy um, from uh, Home Improvement. Home Improvement. Yeah, Al. But it's funny because they say if you buy it now, then you can get a second one. Usually, you know, a second one for free. For an additional cost, is oh, what they say. What so you get the second one for an additional cost. Well, isn't it just like buying it again? Yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> that makes no sense. Crazy, you guys. So, back to reality. Oh, wow, this is a 3 amp hour battery. Yeah. We're talking 12 volt here, right? And like Eric just said, he hit it on the nose with this tool. It's for convenience. It's for those quick cuts. It's for the easy stuff. That's why I'm going to tout this 12 volt over a 20 volt, right? Granted, I like the 20 volts, they're okay, but really, this tool is designed for small, tight areas, detail work, and DeWalt has just came out and nailed it with this tool. One thing that I like the most about it is the trigger. Remember the trigger? Mm -hmm. And that's not just like any trigger, like on off. That is literally a variable speed. It just feels nice, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, the grip, the grip I would say feels fatter than a 20 volt. Feel that. Does no, that I actually like this grip. To me, this is like perfect. Like I can put both, my thumb fits, fits nicely there. I got both my fingers there. You know what I mean? Really? I love that. Like for me, this is awesome. I don't know if you can see that, but it's perfect. Dennis, you did a great job, dude. The Dennis doesn't work pretty well. No. A um, couple other features that are really cool is their quick release uh system right granted you can still use regular blades if they don't have the quick release this is what the quick release looks like it's like a half moon circle there's a notch cut out i feel like a lot of them have that that cut out yeah a lot of blades no uh, i don't think so i don't think diablo does yeah. oh they do let me see they do have the notches i was wrong okay so that's good we're starting to see brands but with this it's so much easier because it's on boom you want to go 90. that's what i like is how quickly you can change it to um, a different angle. Yep. Right angle, left angle. You know, you want to go 10 degrees. You know, whatever you want. And it's, you see how quick I could do that? And it's just, boom, done. Change your blade. I love that. I think that's awesome. I hate those ones. And this actually does come with it the screw and the round piece to go on here to put a blade on. Granted, if you're out shopping for blades and you have this system, definitely just stick with the open universal fit blades they're definitely going to be so much better um what else there what else i think you pretty much hit it i actually like i'm surprised that the three amp hour battery have they had the three amp hour battery for a while for the 12s yeah they, they really? you know wow. the 12 volt from dewalt really came out of the gate awesome we were so dcf 610 that little impact they had it was just awesome stuff and we're talking you know 2014 maybe 2013 i don't know way back in the day 2011 i don't even know how long ago that was and we we're just like yes this is gonna be an awesome line and then for like five years the line didn't get touched then they released some wall scanner underneath it we're like okay maybe it'll be a test of measurement lasers started trickling out but this last year or two they've really been focusing back on this 12 volt line and i think that's great because i use 12 volt milwaukee which i think dominates the industry but i like the slide on packs better i think for me i love the line on the milwaukee 12 volt because they offer so many different tools but the feel my core tools i actually still like the dewalt better i don't know why i just i love their drill i love their impact don't get me wrong i love the milwaukee one it's nice it's, it's a solid system but yeah, I don't know. something about the DeWalt, DeWalt you guys, you know? it's just an easier system to work with for me. The Milwaukee oscillating tools, I have three of them. I have two 20s and a 12, or two 12s and a 20. And uh, literally, it's a pain to change That's the blade. That's a lot of oscillating. What do you have, parties? Like oh, Stanley parties? gave me one. Oh. And then I had, I bought one, 
and then we have them for a review. Oh, time. and then I lost one. I wonder where that one went to. Well, maybe that's, that's probably one of mine. Over there. I mean, I do have a bunch of them, but uh, I just hate that little pin system and changing blades. This to me is a no-brainer. I love it. I mean, there's it's plastic here. I feel on the other ones on the 20 volt, it was metal. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. Where is it plastic? Right there. That whole black thing that you pull down. Oh yeah. Now, well, granted, I didn't realize that. Yeah, granted, it's plastic. It's made. Plastic tools have been made in the 60s. When's the last time one of your plastic tools broke? Plastic on your tool broke? It's not even plastic. It's like ballistic infused it's nylon. It's ABS or whatever it is yeah. or something. It's still really good stuff. You know, I'm pretty happy with the wall. I like their warranty, three-year warranty. It's available at Home Depot. Uh, it's available at Lowe's. What else? I honestly just, for me, like when I go, I like I just like the quality. I like the feel. And to me, that's enough for me. Yeah, I a like lot that. of rubber over molding. I think that uh, DeWalt did a great job on this. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. Let's close this out with some money. exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.